to talk about how to solve a white film issue on top of your wine. Um, so this, there's all different kind of terms people call this, but something you might often hear in the wine books is um, flowers of wine. And it could be caused by like a mold, it could be caused by bacterial growth, or it could be caused by um, a yeast called mycoderma. And that yeast, which is most likely probably what it is, um, that yeast uh, metabolizes ethanol um, into CO2, and it can also cause the, um, like that sherry smell in your wine, that oxidized smell. So you really want to pretty much immediately take care of it and not let it get out of hand if you have this. The first easiest thing to attempt would be to just make sure you top up your wine and um, sulfite it. So realistically you might you are going to probably want to basically rack the wine off and make sure you leave that little bit of film on top. Don't rack it to the next container. Um, put like a quarter teaspoon of sulfite in your next container. And if you have a wine, this is a Concord. If there's, you know, say that much head space on top, make sure you top it up so there's only a little bit. Because these um, yeasts are aerobic, so they do need um, air. And if you can starve them from air and just leave it capped, um, you should hopefully solve the problem. Um, if that doesn't work, um, or even if you just want to take a more aggressive approach at it, you're going to probably want to filter the wine when you transfer it. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, if you don't have a wine filter like this, um, you could run it through uh, like a cloth as long as you sulfite and clean your cloth, like soak it in some sulfited water, and it'll hopefully just help to separate some of those little, little flakes um, out. So I've got this um, I can't remember the brand. This is like a pad filter, basically. And what I had to do is soak the pads in um, an acid and sulfite mix. And what I'll do is I'll just um, discard the first little bit that goes through. It'll be a little watery, and um, run it into this container. And and actually, what I'll then do is I'll just do my final blending and uh, and and bottle this wine. So that's. That's with like 99% confidence, I think that will take care of the problem. Um, but that's the basic steps that you're gonna wanna do if you do see a film yeast on your wine like this. Mm -hmm.